today we'll be raising our exponents to a power. We'll the first do a power to a power, a power to a product, and a power to a quotient. As you can see, they all have parentheses, so we're going to multiply the exponent. So let's look at a power to a power. a to the m raised to the n is a to the m times n. To raise a power to a power, keep the base and multiply the exponents. So x to the third raised to the fourth is really x to the twelfth. So go ahead and try number two m to the 35, try number 3, k to the 48, and try number 4. a to the 27. Now let's look at a power to a product. a times b raised to the n is equal to a to the n, b to the n. To raise a product to a power, raise both factors to the power and multiply the exponents. So we're going to simplify each. 5 to the 3rd, g to the 5th, raised to the 7th. So f to the 3rd to the 7th is f to the 21 g to the 5 to the 7 is g to the 35th. So try number 6. Sixty-four r to the 6, s to the 27th. Try number 7. 32, e to the 20th, f to the 15th, and try 8. Twenty-five x squared, y squared, z to the 16th. Now let's look at some problems, some expressions that are a power to a quotient. a divided by b raised to the n a to the n divided by b to the n. To raise a quotient to a power, raise the numerator and denominator to the power and multiply the exponents. So x divided by y to the 6 can be rewritten as x to the 6, y to the 6. Seven b divided by c, all raised to the second power. Remember, each factor is raised. This is a product to the power. So seven squared b squared divided by c squared, which is 49 b squared divided by c squared. Try 11. 12.